What up? It's your boy A.E. I seen Real News Magazine. And this week's focus is on conspiracy theories. Most conspiracy theories are really hypotheses of truth that pull the sheep's clothing off the patriotic wolves and sit in high places. Oh, they sit in high places, don't worry. They don't get nosebleeds, because they have no hearts. Their four chambers are as empty as the chambers of their henchmen's clipless guns. The same type of guns that they give to our so-called enemies, as they play Monopoly to see who gets the opium and oil. War on terror? <laughs> Indeed. A conspiracy theory is a thought or inclination a governing body is conspiring against the citizens. Through the mass media, our government teaches us conspiracy theories are erroneous because they don't want us to know that they conspire against us. The mass media would have us believe conspiracy theories are ideas induced by cocaine, heroin, or any other controlled substance with thoughts that are preliminary signs of schizophrenia. The conspiracy theorem is the idea knowledge obtained outside school or any other government controlled form of media is irrelevant and inferior, which in reality is the opposite of truth. For more thought provoking articles like the conspiracy theorem and many other breaking news stories, make sure you hit up the Real News blog and stay tuned to Real News TV. One love, two fingers. Thank mm -hmm. you.